Hey y'all, welcome back to Helen L. Honeycomb Homestead. Today is going to be uh, one, two, three, number three uh, of the extracts. And this one is going to be the orange extract. And let me tell you, y'all, these flavors smell so good. And I know it's going to smell good, you know, <laughs> in some desserts. Hey, you know, y'all can use this stuff in your coffee too. You could just put a little bit in your coffee. If you want some of that, or your teas, something like that, some flavoring. Oh, can you imagine how that's going to smell? Huh? All that good stuff? Yes. So, in the meantime, you can start on this orange as well. Orange. Yes, orange. Get, I'm just going to go on to the video. I'm going to quit talking. Okay, to the end. All right. Here we go. Hey, again. I got a head start because, look, y'all, it's time consuming doing these. You got to make sure you don't get these pits in here. So if you look at the lemon video, it's the same way when it comes to oranges when you have to peel them. You do not want that white pit in it. And I'm going to tell you what it means. This. You do not want that white pit in the extract because it's gonna make it bitter y'all do not want no bitter extract so make sure you scrape that off of there make sure if you're peeling it if you're really good at peeling make sure you don't have that white in there i mean i understand if you got like one little two little speckles maybe like something like here in the corner like in the tip right here okay i get that but you don't want all of that on there okay you don't want all of that because it's gonna make it bitter so you want it to be clear not clear, but you know what I'm saying, cleaned. And you want it to look like something like this. Because you do not want it. Yes, it's little. But you don't want that pit in there. Okay? You don't want that pit in there. So, yeah, that would go in there as well, too. So, you don't have to have it... Um, like that in those sizes if you don't want to you can have them bigger if you want it to you if you want it to be um let's see if you want to have shavings you can have shavings you know it's any kind of kind of way you want it to be you know what i'm saying if you want to have the decorative you know people make their little pillings decorative if they want to make their jar pretty um uh, you can you know what i'm saying it's however, just make sure you don't have that pit in it, okay? Okay. The next thing you're going to use is this. Now, you can use this. I got this from Amazon, okay? If you don't want to use the vegetable glycerin, that's fine. I use it because it breaks things down slower. You know what I'm saying? Alcohol, it breaks things faster and everything like that and i want my stuff to slow down i want it to be you know just go smoothly you know what i'm saying just like you're cooking if you're cooking something why cook fast you want to cook your things slow your food slow so i like this to break down slowly and not only that it's because it isn't going to evaporate like alcohol will and the only way it will evaporate is if you keep it in the light now, you can get those jars also from Amazon, or if you collect some dark bottles, liquor bottles, it doesn't matter if it's got dark tint to it, then that's also great, too, because there's no light getting in it, okay? And then you can use glass jars like this, you know what I'm saying? You can use any kind of decorative jars as long as you keep them in a cool, dark place. I stressed it. Cool, dark place, Okay? And there is no expiration, okay? You got a five-year shelf life, but if you get where you can't smell the oranges, guess what? Or the lemons or the vanilla, you could put more in there. Yes, you could put more in there, okay? And you can start it up again, but it's not going to go bad. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's still, it's still extract. It's not going bad at all. And you can use any type of bottles, like I said. You could use bottles like this. You know what I'm saying? You could use anything. Okay? So, we're going to do just like we did with the vanilla, the lemon, 
And now we're going to do the orange. You're going to pour it, the vegetable glycerin, about two-thirds up from the top. Okay? I will be putting some more oranges in here. Okay? Okay, and now you're going to add your water. You do not want to use tap water. You want to use some filtered water. Tap water has a whole lot of chemicals and stuff in it. You know what I'm saying? Chlorine and all that stuff. You don't want all that in that, do you? No. So get you some good, clean, um, purified water, okay? If you don't have any of those things at home, like with a purifier or anything, then you can go to Walmart or Kroger's or any place that got um, distilled water, okay? So you're going to take that distilled water. I'm going to have to put some more in here. But you want to fill it at least half, half an inch, and that'll be right here. And you need that space all the way up here so you can shake it every day, okay? So you're going to fill it on up. Okay. Half an inch head space. Okay. Then you're going to take your plastic top. The metal eventually is going to rust and all that. And it'll probably drip down off in here and you don't want that. Okay. So you want something plastic. Um, If you got mayonnaise jars, pickle jars, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can put any type of plastic. If it's wide mouth, you can buy a wide mouth. You can get these for a little low, low. Or if the container already has plastic tops and stuff like that and it's a glass jar, you can see if the glass jar fits it. Or if it's, if it's that glass jar and it's got a plastic container on top of it. Whatever container, whatever jar you have, that's what you want on top of it. Okay? So you're going to put that on top. You're going to put it on there real tight. You're going to shake it. You're going to do this two to three times a day. Okay? You want to get it good. So you want to do this. You don't want to miss this at all. Because the more you shake it, the better it gets. The more it's breaking down. Okay? You don't want to miss this. If it comes to mind, you're thinking about it, be like, hey, I need to shake this up. And you can do it. Okay? Just like that, there is your orange extract. The more peelings you put in there, the more powerful it is. It don't isn't it's that nothing wrong with just having a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit goes a long way too. Look at all that extract you made. Yeah, really, that's a lot of extract. You can just keep at it. Okay, so that's the orange. <laughs> Man, it is so much fun making extracts. And y'all can make just about anything in extracts, okay? Anything, really, anything, if you want anything for an extract, okay? So, um, if you want to see um, the next one, which is going to be lime, Stay tuned for that one for tomorrow. I will be posting that one up, okay, as well. And then I'll have a beautiful Christmas dinner video that I have put together for y'all, okay, and for my family that I have been working on, and I will post that for Christmas. So if you want to sit back and look at Lovey's Honeycomb, okay, the L and L Honeycomb Homestead Christmas dinner, okay. Stay tuned for that if you want to see a whole meal be cooked for Christmas, okay. Um, I love y'all, and I'm getting ready to do some more shout outs for my new subscribers that I have gained, and I'm so happy. I don't know what to do, y'all. I, man, that's a blessing. So I want to give it out. I want to give a shout out to Ask Why. I want to give a shout out to Rachel. 
I want to give a shout out to I am Marsha Dorr, formerly Straight Natural. Marsha Adore, formerly Straight Natural. Okay, and I want to give another shout out to Maisha Nicole. And I'm going to give another one out. Cat's Home Corner. Yes, Cat's Home Corner. Hey, I want to thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. It really means the world to me. Y'all continue on coming because I'm going to come with some more content. If y'all got any questions or if you want to know anything or whatever, I will do my best to give you the best answer I can. I love to read and I love to do research, okay? And um, and I don't mind bringing it to my content because I'm willing to try everything and anything, okay? So, y'all have a beautiful day. Stay safe. Stay warm because uh, tonight's going to be zero. And right now, it is cold out there. And we're looking at snow. Yeah. It, yeah. I'm not going outside. Who's going outside? Who doing all that? I'm not. No, I'm not. So, y'all have a beautiful day. And we'll be back tomorrow for the lime extract. If you're interested in watching that video, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And, hey, y'all. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up on all of them. And, um, oh, yeah, before I forget, on your lemon and your orange and your lime, all the extracts that I'm coming to you with, save all of those peelings. Even if you got um, fruit on them, okay? Save all those, okay? Save all those. Put them in a big jar. Put them in a big jar. Excuse me, excuse me. So, that way, you can have some cleaning stuff. Save all those peelings. Okay? Save all of them. And I'm going to show you what you can do with that tomorrow. Okay? I'm going to show you what you can do with that. Yeah. You know I'm budget friendly. And I'm going to come with you some good content. So, save all those peelings. Save all those peelings. Make sure you save them. Okay? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what you can do with it. I'm going to show you. Okay? You're going to be so happy. That you save those. So, stay tuned for tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow's video. Okay? Saved. Okay? Okay? So, you're going to be getting two of them today. Because I did not upload your lemon. Okay? So, today was for orange. But I'm going to put up the lemon and the orange. And tomorrow, I will be putting up the lime. So, stay tuned to that. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'm just rambling. Keep. Bye.